What's up guys, so today I'm gonna be showing you how you can make your own inflatable fort. Um, I got this idea from this thing called Mission to Mars. All the materials you'll need for this is duct tape, Dollar Tree tablecloths, a tarp, and some scissors, and a box fan. Um, so originally for this build, um, at Mission to Mars we would use the plastic that painters use, but I was able to figure out a good cheap um, replacement for that is just tablecloths from the Dollar Tree. So hopefully if you guys like it, you can all make your own. It looks something like this. I hope you guys enjoy the video. So to start off, you're going to be cutting down the tarp to the same size as your tablecloth. Then we're going to be putting on the sides, the top, then the ends. Um, make sure to try and double side tape all of the creases, but eventually it will be hard and you'll only be able to do the outside and that'll be okay. got everything put together so it's basically this hollowed out rectangle right now and so what we did was cut a line down the middle of this end this is going to be the doorway and then we're going to put this piece of blue cloth on top of that kind of like where the pink is but this time we're only going to tape it at the top and the bottom Here you'll cut a small hole in the back end of the fort, then cut off the back end of a garbage bag and use that to connect the fort to the fan. Do you want to hold the fan still? I should <laughs> There we go! It does look like that air is leaking. So we're gonna snug this up a little bit so the air can't get through. Hurry! Oh jeez. So while this is deflating on me, some things I needed to point out is originally when I made my prototype of this, I used one of the tablecloths as the floor, but even just kneeling on that would put holes. So that's be why we got this type. We are now making a tunnel so that we can connect two forts together. This strip of tarp is the excess from the base of the fort. And then we are going to be using two tablecloths plus this tarp to make a triangular tunnel.
I'm connecting my prototype fort to the fort I just built. Really, you guys could connect as many forts as you would like, as long as you have a box fan for each one of them. I'm attaching another box fan to the fort, but this time on the right side of it, hoping that the air will be easier to direct to fill up the tunnel. Also, I did go through three rolls of duct tape putting those two forts and the tunnel together, so just make sure you have plenty of duct tape. The fort is put together. Kind of looks like a bad Star Wars spaceship <laughs> that they race, you know? Anyways, so it looks like it's working pretty good. Um, They are a little slanted, if you can see. They're a little tilted. At least hopping in. Um, yeah, see like that one's pretty tilted. And then yeah, we'll show you the inside. I was thinking to use the the bags the tarps came in and use them as windows. So all you, I didn't do it, but all you need to do is cut out the square and then tape that plastic there. And then boom, you have windows. We put this door slanted. We did mess up in this door and put the cut horizontal. So you have to crawl up from underneath to get in. But it actually looks like it seals the air better. So maybe that's a good thing. So maybe you guys can do that. <laughs> All packs down to that small like a sleeping bag Move back up to show my family and so i noticed that the walls when i rolled it all up was touching against the exposed sides of duct tape and so what that caused was when we blew it back up it put all these holes into it so just to make sure when you do like here see you can't see any of the underside of the duct tape that just got stepped on there's no holes here as well, but where there was the underside of the duct tape, then it put the holes. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment below if you build your own. I'd love to hear that. And then subscribe if you want to see more projects and ideas. Catch you guys in the next one.